Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Expressive Tone TV, conveying your thoughts and feelings to the world. Guys, hmm, this one Shoko, this one eh, now wah. All the people when they buy during that exercise period, when they say na na lie you, say nobody be a RIP for that place. But the people where they the place talk say they say soldiers, they send people come, they come off their lights. Later they come they shoot them. Say so many people buy for that place. So many people be a RIP for that place. The the state government uh, no, uh, Sanwo Lu Jide say nothing like that. Say nobody buy for the place. Say nothing like that. Now it happen. But right now now their secret door open. Breeze door blow, foul yash door open. The letter when they send, the memo when they send to the Ministry of Health for Lagos, they allow sir on the 19th of July. Don't show say then pay some group of people, say make they pay the 61.2 million naira so that they go take give the people mass barrier. So people not by which one can be all those people. They can they give different explanation. I beg not be me one talk oh, so that they don't go talk say na me talk am. Eh uh -huh. I beg uh, make you subscribe to my channel. Uh, press the notification bell. Drop your comments below. I beg drop your comments. What do you think about all these things? And I beg share this video. If you press that like video, YouTube go come they help us they share the video. May they share the video to the whole world so that they go see the wickedness when it they happen for this country. We not say nothing with the feel do them, but the whole world go they see what they happen for here. Make everybody see the wickedness in the high places for this country. Share the video, I beg. Just they share the video. The government had allegedly approved an estimated 61 million naira for a mass burial of 103 NSAS victims. In a quick rebuttal, the Lagos state government debunked the claims, stating that peddlers of the news are deliberately misinterpreting and sensationalizing the report, a letter which went viral on social media from the Lagos state government public procurement agency titled Letter of No Objection, Mass Burial for the 103, the year 2020 NSAS victim claimed that the state government engaged the services of TOS Funeral Limited, a private firm at the cost of 61,285,000 naira to bury 103 bodies which were identified to be victims of the killings. The Lagos state government, however, said the 103 casualties mentioned in the letter were victims of the NSAS violence in community clashes prior to the incident at the Lekki toll gate on October 20, 2020, insisting that the casualties are not from the Lekki toll gate as being alleged and that nobody was retrieved from the Lekki toll gate incident. Now, the Lagos state government has maintained their claim. They claim that nobody was retrieved from the incident i mean over the weekend uh, our videos were trending from you know 2020 where the lagos state governor gave the interview saying that you know nobody died also from cnn but let me take more re uh, reactions this is from big mo well he wrote first things first the letter is true so that's out of the way secondly let's even assume the deaths didn't happen at the toll gate for a second but 103 human beings not cattle though killed across the state while protesting for police brutality was not enough concern for the state or federal government for almost three years why did the state keep mute about the number of deaths what exactly did the state federal government do to prevent this massive death happening again life in nigeria is truly worthless i don't see how this much number of people will die during a protest and not even a memorial was done on their behalf since the government knew about this number of deaths over the years and kept mute about it it's clear there has been a massive cover-up by the state of what truly happened during the NSAS protest now I truly understand why the last state governorship election was a do or die affair for them well really Oduola wrote Families of NSAS victims killed by the police forces showed up, by the way, looking for the bodies of their loved ones, including Belumi Onifade's mother. They were asked to drop DNA samples. They dropped. Lagos State Government never did any DNA test. 
for the samples collected. I can go on and on with the tweets, but Dr. Abate, I want to start with you. Um, I mean, I spoke with um, the former spokesperson for the Lagos State Government, Benga Omotosha, and you know, he, you know, he gave me some insight, and he did share with me a couple of articles and reports where they had announced or made some... Five. Hmm. Okay, so where do I start? I'm going to have three parts to yeah. my speech this morning. Number one, are we a society that wants the truth or we want lies? Do we even understand the truth or we've constantly fed on lies that have heralded our union as a country? I think it's a time for sober and deep reflection about the capacity of the truth and what it can do to our society. Or, if we don't want the truth, we continue to wallow in lies. But I'll tell you something. Goodman Danforgio said, Conscience is an open wound and only the truth can heal it. For everybody out there, you've got your conscience open. It's a wound today. But it is the truth that can heal that wound you have. And I pray the souls of the departed will find healing. Yes. Secondly, we've become a state that does not care for lives. 103 people. That's the one we even saw. I would even say we even dignify them by putting their body in the morgue for some time. Do you know that in the Nigerian state, a lot of people die and their bodies are just left to waste like that and their carcasses. So we're not a country that appreciates lives. And that's why when a protest happens, all sorts of things happen and people are killed. It is a cultural problem we have with our psyche. And the state must learn to protect its people. I'll take you back to the 1960s. A protest happened, famous protest in France called Soise and Wheat. When that protest happened, the protesters, they were going to storm on the French presidential palace. Charles de Gaulle was a war general, a brave man. He didn't run away from the Nazis. He stood and he fought them. But when his own people were about to storm the Champs d'Elysées, Charles de Gaulle ran away. He did not run away because he wasn't brave. He ran away because he knew if they had stormed the presidential palace, and his guard had reacted, there would have been loss of lives. And Charles de Gaulle said, it is not on my watch. The French life will be lost. That is a leader that understands the importance of the life of his citizens. Absolutely. Do we have leaders like that? No. My third phase, Audrey, is the rigmarole we've done. I look at that video you play. You remember we fined over two million for that video. At first, the military denied that it was a lie. Mr. Lai Mohammed, we remember the word said. We remember when the MBC then, mm -hmm. director Mr. Uh, Indacha, Professor Indacheba came here. Mm -hmm. And I asked him just one question. I'll never forget that day. Now, what were the methods of verifying that video that it was wrong, but there was no answer? We're finally proven true. At first, the governor said, oh, I didn't call the military. The military said, oh, the governor called us in. Now, we had a lot of back and forth. Then the white paper, I mean, then the report was released, then it became political. We can say all and all and talk about the facts and details. But I ask again, do we want a country that will stand on the pedestal of the truth? And please, can we stand the truth? Uh, I, a lot of people have said, I mean, 103 people. I mean, this story means a lot to me. I, I broke down when I saw this happen. I mean, in the lead up to the actual day of the Lekki Tollgate shooting, you know, there was all of this uh, mayhem going around Lagos, people, police um, stations being burned, people being killed. But 103 people, if people are saying they're, they're skeptical about yes. that number of people. And, and for good reason. In fact, OJ, what this report did was that it brought up more questions for yeah. me. And it's almost re, it's resurrecting the NSARS story. Mm. I don't believe that this, we have come to the end of this. I think this will just bring up even more um, questions. And I, I, I wish Nigeria were a country where journalists would be allowed to do their jobs in terms of investigations and allowed to have access to interviewing key personnel, um, access to documents so that we can truly verify what is the tr true um, state of what's happened. 103 people, human beings, and going back to that first tweet you read, we're not talking about animals here, we're talking about people who lived, yes. people who had family members, who had a livelihood. If these kind of numbers had died in that period that the government said, there should have been a national day of mourning called by the government. The fact that there was quiet or silence about these numbers all these years and three years is a cause for concern. Why? Why didn't any, anyone say anything? Yes, they put out, out adverts, they, comment, they did, but they it didn't give the true picture of what had happened. Mm. 
Other questions, again, would be, or something else I wanted to identify is that in that letter that was written, where it answers victims, I think it's time that the state government, in being sensitive to the people, stop tagging what was, has been said by international and local community members as one of the most peaceful protests when it happened to be victims of people who died as a result of NSARS. People died as a result of violence that erupted following the agitations of people after the events of the 20th of October 2020. Because we have reports of how it was very organized, particularly at the epicenter, Ground Zero, in, in Adleki Tollgate. Mm. Then moving forward in terms of that, is that um, the panel report versus the white paper? Yes. There have been inconsistencies, and that's why there are questions that still emerge. Right from the very first day when the um, military said they were not even there at all, then going on to saying that they did not fire like bullets. You know, so many inconsistencies. When would Nigerians get the truth about what happened on the 20th of October 2020? And I hope that the state government at least would honor the dead. As was said, why hasn't an, ep an epitaph been built? Why hasn't that place been consecrated? Why hasn't nothing been done? 103 lives just